Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal, the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh, and the two Deputy Presidents who presented His Majesty with the two Councils' response on the speech that His Majesty the King delivered during the opening of the fourth session of the fifth legislative term. His Majesty the King expressed pride in the dedicated efforts of the Legislative Authority in performing its constitutional tasks and its legislative oversight as part of its endeavors to establish, establish a democratic approach and to increase national achievements in parliamentary events. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the Shura and Representatives Councils for their efforts aimed at supporting the National Development March, defending the homeland's supreme interests and developing the system of laws and regulations that fulfill the citizens' aspirations and needs. His Majesty the King hailed the constructive suggestions and ideas included in the response, which aimed to enhance the democratic process noting the, full, the fruitful coordination and co cooperation between the two authorities for the growth and prosperity of the kingdom. His Majesty hailed the achievements made by national cadres in various work sites, affirming that the kingdom continues its course of development and growth. His Majesty the King also commended the noble character of Bahraini people, their keenness on the advancement of their country and their solidarity in all circumstances, adding that Bahrain's true wealth is in its people and that these traits are inherited through the kingdom's history. History. For their part, the heads of the Shura and Representatives Councils expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for his unlimited support to the Legislative Authority, which has made a considerable impact on the important achievements made in many fields. The Shura Council expressed pride in the royal patronage by, the opening, by opening the fourth session of the fifth legislative term, affirming that the royal speech contains many wise visions that aim for the advancement of the country and represent an approach to continue translating them into legislative initiatives that benefit the people. The Shura Council praised the constructive cooperation between the government and the National Assembly, pledging to His Majesty to enhance this cooperation for its part, the Representatives Council's response on the royal speech contained a number of topics including combating the repercussions of the pandemic, the physical balance program, the unemployed, the supporting the advancement of Bahraini women, as well as lauding Bahrain's strengthening of human rights, principles and taking pride in the role of parliamentary diplomacy and the advancement of military institutions and security bodies. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 4 of year 2022, appointing Jasim Khalid Rashid Al Jumeiri Al Hajri as Director of the Directorate of Technology and Broadcasting at the Ministry of Information Affairs. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressed the importance of the training camp held by the Spanish team Cordoba in Bahrain in promoting the kingdom and its comprehensive development in various sectors, including sports, noting that among the gains made through this visit is improving the technical level and expertise of the players of the national clubs, which will leave a positive impact on the national team's march. On the occasion of the conclusion of the Cordoba camp, His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that a plan to host many well-known international sports teams was developed with the aim of promoting the kingdom and its achievements during the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, in addition to focusing on Bahrain's sporting development and its high capabilities. His Highness stated that the visit of the Spanish team comes in line with the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030, which gives considerable attention to promoting the kingdom through sports. The Council of Representatives held its weekly session chaired by its speaker, Fawzia Zainal. The Council discussed the reports of parliamentary committees on a number of draft laws, including one on mental health. The Council approved a draft law amending a number of provisions of the civil aviation law. A draft law on the environment was also approved. The president of the Sustainable Energy Authority, SEA, Dr. Abdel Hussein Mirza, participated remotely in the Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week organized by the Emirate in UAE. 
Dr. Mirza stated that SEA praises the role of the youth in achieving Bahrain's goals for the sustainability of energy resources, which is in line with Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. He added that this annual forum carries a greater responsibility this year on leaders, presidents and decision makers participating in the various events. He stated that the current global circumstances, circumstances affirm the necessity of finding innovative solutions, especially in the sustainable energy field. Under the patronage of the National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, Major General, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the conference of the third meeting of the Middle East graduates was held, organized by the BDF. The Foreign Affairs Minister, Dr. Abdel Latif Al Zayani, Isa Royal Military College Commander, Major General Abdel Rahman Khalifa Al Naimi, and Royal Military Academy Standards Commandant, Major General Duncan Capps, addressed the event. The conference sessions were attended by a number of the commandants of GCC military colleges as well as the UK Royal Military Colleges. Also present were Royal College for Command and Staff Commander, Major General Abdullah Saeed Al-Mansouri, Royal Guard Deputy Commander, Major General Hamad Khalifa al naimi Military Training Director, Major General Saleh Rashid Al-Saad, graduates and senior BDF officers. The sessions focused on a number of main themes and featured key lectures and studies that shed light on the accredited academic programs aimed to qualify officers to overcome all challenges and emergencies including the outbreak of the coronavirus. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid Al Zayani, stressed the importance of the availability of cement, which is one of the main commodities to ensure the smooth flow of construction in the local market, noting the continuation of efforts to support the national cement products. He pointed out the importance of strengthening cooperation and coordination between the Ministry and the owners of cement companies to work on overcoming challenges that may affect the movement of the market. During a meeting with a number of cement companies, Al Zayani expressed his thanks for the great role played by companies operating in the Kingdom of Bahrain and their aspiration to provide their services and products in an advanced manner. He also expressed his thanks and appreciation to the companies for their rapid response and remarkable cooperation with the Ministry and the concerned authorities to ensure the stabi stability of the local market. The Undersecretary for the Ministry of Interior for Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, paid an inspection visit to Khalifa bin Salman Port, Salman Naval Base and Citra Industrial Office to review the mechanism of workflow and the logistics services provided in line with the Economic Recovery Plan and the Economic Vision 2030. Sheikh Hisham directed the ex expedite and develop the facilities of Salman Port and take all necessary measures to complete procedures for travelers arrival and departure in addition to overcome all challenges and setting strategies for the nationality passports and residence affairs. He praised the high performance of the staff working in seaports and hailed their efforts in facilitating the transit of logistic transport and the movement of passengers while abiding to tight security controls. The Kingdom of Bahrain has strongly condemned the terrorist Houthi militia's launch of explosive-laden drones on Abu Dhabi UAE, resulting in the explosion of three petroleum tankers and a fire near the new construction area of Abu Dhabi International Airport. In a statement, the Foreign Affairs Ministry stressed that the cowardly terrorist attack, which resulted in the death of three civilians and the injury of other, others, violates international humanitarian law and all other international laws and constitutes a blatant attack on the sovereignty of the UAE. AE, reflecting the insistence of these terrorist Houthi militias to continue their cowardly criminal attacks. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs affirmed that Bahrain denounces this Houthi attack, which was launched from Sana port, a civilian facility. The Ministry also confirmed that the Kingdom stands in solidarity with the UAE and all the measures it will take to confront such a cowardly attacks. The Ministry further called upon the international community to take the necess necessary steps against militias whose hostile acts confirm that the they are a terrorist organization that poses a serious threat to the stability and security of the region. Under the Royal Directives to distribute 1,000 units and the Directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to distribute 2,000 additional units, the Ministry of Housing continued handing certificates to East Sitra Project and the Keys to East Head Project. The Ministry affirmed keenness to continue distributing units to beneficiaries across the Kingdom and pointed out plans for more projects and cities that will create more units for citizens in, the econ in line with the Economic Recovery Plan. The Ministry of Housing pointed out that these 
housing projects provide walking and cycling paths in addition to the availability of open spaces and green spaces with the aim to provide the components of quality of life and meet the aspirations of the people of Bahrain.